Hi, my name is Tanner. I'm going to be talking about the BCG product matrix, which is a tool that companies use for long-term strategic planning to show them whether or not they should invest and develop their products or drop them altogether. So we've got four quadrants here that are based off of two criteria, one being relative market share. And relative market share tells us how much of a market a company has. So if they have the most customers, they've got the largest market share. Right here we have market growth rate, meaning how many new customers will there be in the future, or is it going to be a stagnant market? Um, it also takes into consideration if there's going to be new competitor entrants from other companies. So basically, how much the market, or how many customers there will be in the future, the growth rate. So at the bottom here, we have low market growth rate and high relative market share. Meaning this market really isn't going to grow all that much, but this product has a lot of the market share. A lot of customers buy this product. We call that a cash cow. There's a lot of cash that's generated from it, but nothing's really going to grow in the future. Up here, we have a high relative market share and a high market growth rate. This is where the stars are. This is new products that have a lot of potential to grow to get a lot of new customers and they generate a lot of cash. So these are few and far between. That's why we call those the stars. Right here we have low relative market share along with high market growth rate. So this is a product that doesn't really sell all that well. There's, there's other products that sell better, but it does generate a lot of cash. And so that's a little bit confusing, and so we call that a question mark. Um, this is kind of a gray area. Companies don't know if they should invest or just drop that product altogether. It's very volatile. It could change at any time. Not really a zone that you want to be in, although there have been some success stories that we'll talk about in a second. The last quadrant is the dog section, and the dog has low relative market share and low growth rate. It's not going to grow that much, and it doesn't grow that much cash. So even though it's a dog, we don't want it. We want dogs, but we don't want these dogs. Um, so some examples of some products that would fit into here. Um, Saab is an old car company, they would fit into here. It doesn't grow and it doesn't generate that much cash, so we could place them there. Um, in the question mark products, um, if you think about Rovio, they made the game Angry Birds. They also made a lot of other games that you have never heard of, and it took them a long time to get successful um, with Angry Birds, which we would place here in the star zone, but all their other products they just kind of failed. They didn't, they didn't really work out, but we didn't know if they would. We didn't know if they wouldn't. Angry Birds did, the other ones didn't. So all the other products end up there. Here in the star zone, um, there's a lot of products that we could put in here. Um, Twitter could be considered one of those. Any kind of um, social media. Uh, Coca-Cola would be someone that we could place in the, um, in the cash cow zone. Coke will always sell, always had for, always has for years, and uh, probably will continue to, to uh, sell, but not at a high growth rate. So that's the BCG product matrix.